Hi, it's Maria. And I'm here with another project for the class to go. And this is called a book binding card. Kind of looks like a book. And that's why it's called a book binding card. And so this is the card that we're going to make for the class to go project. So let's get started. We're going to start with a Knight of Navy card base, and that's four and a quarter by 11, scored at five and a half and six and three quarter. Now you're going to fold it in half first, and with your bone folder, burnish the fold, and then the other should be in half. Let's just make sure that that, that didn't look like it was even to me. There we go, that's better. Okay. Then the other score line right here, you fold it back on itself like this. Okay, now we have some, some little sticky here. We have some, uh, some designer paper and some other papers. And I'm going to try and give you the measurements if I can remember them. So we've got a piece of very vanilla for the outside, and that is four by four, and this is uh, three and three quarters by three and three quarters. There's two pieces, one for the outside, one for the inside. Then there is a little strip here, which is one by um, four and three quarters, and this is seven eighths by four and a half. Now, all of these measurements are going to be on the PDF that's in your kit. So, don't be too alarmed. All right, so here's the other one. Now, there's this is a piece of very vanilla that will stamp the sentiment on that will be in the inside. Now, on the outside, you're going to have a piece of Knight of Navy, and you're going to die cut the gold or sentiment and gold foil and put it on that and then mat it with this. And I'm going to show you how to mat a gold piece and use it on the adhesive sheets so that when you die cut the sentiments, you're converting them to um, embellishments. There, I lost the word for a minute. Okay, so let's get working with the card. And the first thing that I'm going to do is, I'm just going to put this aside, and I'm going to take my adhesive, and I'm going to use this, my silicone sheet, get this going, okay, and I'm going to mat the, de the designer paper, which is the Floral Arts Designer Paper. Gorgeous paper. I fell in love with it as soon as I saw it. I said, oh my goodness, that's beautiful paper. And flowers, I love flowers. I think anyone who knows me knows that I like flowers. Oops. Now, hopefully, once this pandemic is over, we can get back outside and into our gardens and Maybe I'll have some classes in the garden again in the in the summertime. That was a lot of fun last summer. And it would be nice to have classes inside as well, but these classes to go are in lieu of um, people coming here for, for classes. Okay, now here's the other one. A little strip. Okay, now we're ready to put some on the card itself. And I'm going to adhere this to the card front. That's okay to do that. I'm not going to put it on the inside just yet, and you'll see why in a minute. Make sure you don't put your flowers on upside down. Some of them you can't tell, but this one. Okay, I think it's this way. 
uh, I'm going to put a ribbon on it so it's not that critical. All right, so before I go any further, I've got a piece of ribbon. Here it is. It's open weave ribbon that is with the Forever Greenery set in the catalog. And I'm going to open this up. And I'm going to put it on the outside and then adhere it on the inside here. So I'll attach this end and then make sure it is straight. And then glue this. Okay, one more thing before we, we work more with the card. I've got some gold trim that I'm going to put around here and I'm only going to wind it around once. It's not the trim that I would normally put on here, but I've kind of run out. So I think this one is just as pretty. Now I'm going to take my reverse tweezers and help me with this. Okay, usually you put your finger down here, but if you put your finger here, you cannot use it to tie a knot. So I use that to, as a finger. Okay. There we go. It's not too bad. I'll just trim that. Okay, now I'm going to take a glue dot. The ribbon seems to be bulging a little bit there. And so I'll, t I'll take my trusty picky tool. And just put a glue dot under there. And I think I'll put a glue dot underneath this one as well. There, now I don't need to worry about it going anywhere. Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take some Tombow glue. And I'm going to put some here. And you don't need too much. Whoops. And you just fold it over and pull it back. You want to make sure that it is adhered down well, but you also don't want any glue to be squeezing through to here. Because if you do and you close your card and there's glue in here, you won't be able to open up your card again. Okay, now that that is done, I can add this to the inside. Isn't this gorgeous paper? Oh my goodness. All of the paper in that pack is just mm, to die for. Now this is for the sentiment inside and I'm going to stamp happy birthday using Night of Navy ink. Perfect. Close up my ink pad so I don't get my fingers in it. Now I'll add that to the center to the inside, sorry.
Now for the front. This is what the front looks like. So you're going to need a piece of foil, which is this, I'm sorry, and a piece of navy. And then you see the um, sentiment is in gold foil. Okay, so how that's going to happen is that you have a piece of gold foil and you're going to adhere it to an adhesive sheet which has an adhesive on the front and on the back. So you're making it your, your sentiment into a sticker. I think that's the word I was trying to think of earlier. So rather than fiddling with putting Tombow glue on the back and getting glue all over the place, this is a real neat, clean way of doing it. Now, a lot of people have trouble with this, so I'm just going to show you very quickly how to put this on an adhesive sheet and use it. Now, the adhesive sheet, they come, I'll hear this right here, in a long pack like this. Um, I think it's six by 12, and there's, there's 12 sheets in the pack. Um, and you just cut it to the size that you need. And what I did was I laid this over the sheet and just cut around it. Okay, now it has little sections that you can peel off at a time. And it is quite sticky. Lay it down and then I take this and just lay it over top. Then you take your die and, sorry, there goes my bone folder, and place it over top and do your die cutting. And I've come back and it's die cut. Isn't that marvelous? <laughs> okay, so we'll take the words out. And I see I've already lost the little dot on top of the word just. That gets lost so quickly. Just. Now, I die cut it with gold foil, but, you know, you can die cut it in any color cardstock that you want. And you take your picky tool and you just poke out these little things that you don't want in there. Okay, now we'll just move this aside. Now, what I suggest you do is you just lay it on there first. Now I have to be careful with this one because the backing has already come off. And lay it here and here. That way you know it's going to fit and it works just fine. Okay, now to access the stickiness on the other side, it's got a little protective cover over it, like a little skin. And you want to peel that off. Now, if you just kind of let it go rather than forcing it down, I think all the oh, there's a little piece here that hasn't come off. There we go. See what I mean about just letting it go? 
rather than forcing it down. So your sentiment says, just want to say happy birthday. So we'll bring this card back. And I will now add that to come on adhesive. Ugh, you're sticky. And there's your card. It's that book binding card. Usually used to make wedding invitations. So if any of you get into doing that. Okay, now the envelope. Okay, I did it this way, but I think for this class, we're going to do it a different way. What I did was I took some designer paper because I just love this designer paper. And we're going to adhere it to the flap of the envelope. So you just cut a piece of paper that of course is extends over the ends and extends beyond the tip of the flap. And I like to use Tombow for this, but you know, you can use whatever adhesive you have. Cover the flap. And then make sure, of course, this end is straight. And lay it next to the fold line, not over it and not below it, but just at it so that when you fold it back, you don't see any designer paper. And now with your paper snips, there you go and always on the wrong side. As you can see what you're cutting. On the other side, you wouldn't see and you'd end up cutting into the envelope. So there is your envelope. So these are your two options this way or this way. This way I put uh, tear and tape adhesive down and put the gold leafing on it and then a strip of designer paper in between. Either way, um, you have an option now. Okay, so your card. Oh, sorry, that's a sample. Your card and your envelope. Another project for the class to go. Have fun.